Today I'm going to show you how to create the recovery media on your new Asus laptop. If you have a new Asus laptop with Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, you probably noticed that it did not come with any kind of recovery media. That means if your hard drive crashes or you want to upgrade to a solid state drive or a larger hard drive, um, you're pretty much out of luck unless you want to clone your old hard drive. Um, when it comes down to it, manufacturers should include recovery media or an easy way to download and or create it. And Asus does have this option, uh, but de depending on which model you have, they may have made it easy, they may have made it obscure. Um, it's just not exactly transparent across the entire Asus brand. So I'm going to show you, how, show you how to do it on any Asus laptop with Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. You will need one file. I'll have the links to that file down in the description below, um, both 32-bit and 64-bit. I'm doing it on a 64-bit laptop today, Windows 8.1. The other thing you're going to need is a 16 gigabyte memory card. You can get these on Amazon for 10 bucks or less these days. Um, really cheap, really easy. Uh, I got a Kingston one. I would probably recommend Samsung's uh, SanDisk. I got this one because it was on sale. Um, but the, the Samsung and the SanDisk are really good. Make sure you get a Class 10 uh, SDHC card. Micro SD. Well, it doesn't need to be a micro SD. I just got that so it would fit in a phone as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull this out. I'll put links down in the description to where you can get a... I'll put links to the Samsung and the SanDisk ones because those are the best brands. There we go. One 16 gigabyte card. Make sure it's not locked. And then you are going to need some sort of uh, card reader. For some reason they made uh, their recovery media programs so that it would not work on the built-in card reader. Uh, this may or may not be true across the entire laptop board. But um, on this particular laptop um, it did not work so I have to use this. This basically makes it show up as a mass storage device and it doesn't have any way of telling it no so it works. So I'm using a Targus. It has a standard ST and a micro SD slot. Um, worked really well. I did a video review on this. Check out my other video reviews for that. So between the file, a memory card, and a card reader you're all set to go. Once you download the file I'm just going to open it up, double click on the setup file, and it'll go through a standard setup process. I've already got it installed, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. There's, it's straightforward. It takes like less than a minute. We're all good there. Once you have it installed, you will get a nice pretty icon like this on your desktop. Asus Backtracker. And it uh, gives you a standard info screen. We're going to go to Backup, Factory Image, and click... Well, let's, let's put our card reader in. And we'll click Start. And it sees our multiple card reader there. You want one that's at least... Uh, it's saying you want at least 14 gigabytes. A uh, 16 gigabyte card uh, work perfectly. You could get a larger one if you want, but don't go anything less than 16 gigabytes. And it gives you a basic warning saying it's going to format and erase everything on the card. You're good. Alright, now it's going to copy the recovery partition on the computer, the factory recovery partition that's already on your computer. It's going to copy that to your SD card. And that's exactly what you want. That way you can Take that card, put it in your computer, no matter what hard drive it's got in there, and you're good to go. This process does take a while. Last time I did it, it took, I think, a little over a half an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and we'll come back when it's almost done. Well, it finished before I could get back to the camera. So when it's done, you'll see this creating image complete. Just going to click finish there, and you're done. You now have your recovery partition fully backed up onto your SD card. Now we're going to open Asus Backtracker again. And this time we're going to go to Backup Asus Driver Application. 
start that. And it's going to have the same recovery hard drive that it just created. We're just going to click next and start. This one doesn't take nearly this long, maybe 10 minutes, but I am. Well, let's talk about uh, what you should do while, it's, while you're waiting. I know you're going to have plenty of time. I've done it. Uh, go ahead and take your whatever case that your memory card came in. And go ahead and write the, write the model number of the laptop. Write recovery. And the drivers are going to end up in a folder, whatever your memory card is, uh, slash E support. Then it's like backslash E drivers, but that's the main drivers folder. You want to make sure you remember where it saves the drivers because it doesn't auto install. It doesn't make it obvious. So um, when you go to do your factory restore, um, if you want to install the Asus drivers and apps, you're going to want to go into this folder. If you don't want to install any of the Asus stuff, you don't even have to do this step. But it is good to go ahead and install at least the drivers. Uh, you can select which uh, which applications you want to install when it's installing. And then on the back, uh, let's see, what did I write? On the back I wrote, press escape during boot. So on most of the new Asus laptops, uh, right when you restart or boot, press escape. Right when you see the little Asus over here, press escape, it'll go into the boot menu. Um, from there you have the option to boot from your hard drive, from uh, your memory card reader, or from, uh, or it'll give you the option to go into your BIOS setup. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it again, and we'll come back when this is done. All right, that's done. You may notice when you're doing it that the progress bar will get all the way to the end. Uh, the green bar will go away, and it'll just sit there saying backup progress with a, a gray bar. Just leave it there for another five minutes, and it'll eventually get to this screen here. Uh, it says it's done and it shows you the folder e support e drivers uh, a s i n s wiz dot exe. Um, all you really need to know is that drivers are going to be in the e support directory. So we'll go ahead and finish that, and you're done. Um, if you don't want to test it, all you have to do is uh, eject the card. I like to go ahead and lock them, lock that down, and put this in a safe place with a label so you know what it is. Maybe put it in. Uh, the box that you, your laptop came in, if you're going to save the box, just put it somewhere where you're not going to touch it. That way you can always go back to factory when you sell your laptop or your hard drive crashes. But I'll go ahead and show you how it works here. We're going to go ahead and restart here. Hopefully there's no updates. Huh? There we go. As soon as you see Asus, hit the escape button. Shit. I didn't do it fast enough. I'm going to pause it while I restart again. I'll get back to it. Let's try this again. These laptops boot so fast these days, I, I didn't hit it fast enough. I'm trying to watch the camera while I'm restarting it. So just watch it. As soon as restarting goes away, hit the escape key. And you can keep pressing it as many times as you want. There we go. <laughs> Alright. So you've got Windows Boot Manager, you've got UEFI multi card reader, that's our USB card reader. We're going to go to that, hit enter. Alright, welcome to Asus Recovery. Asus Recovery is a recovery tool which helps create factory image. You can tell they they aren't like exactly speaking English as their first language. A lot of their spelling is kind of weird. Um, but basically, get started, and here we go. Are you sure you want to erase your disk? 
if I click start here, it's going to take that factory image, it's going to overwrite that hard drive, and it's going to wipe it out. So I'm not going to proceed forward. Uh, I might do another video showing how to restore a computer if you lose a hard drive, but there it is. That proves that uh, we now have our original factory store image on recovery media that we can easily boot off of and restore a computer back to factory at any point in time. There we go. There it is. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, check out all the cool links below. And give us a like and a thumbs up and use our links.